Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I've got Craig Vi with me. It's time for another Youth Watch. We haven't done one for a while, so there's lots to catch up on. Loads, there. yeah, there's loads and loads to catch up okay, on. Okay, well, yeah. let's get it started. An absolute goal fest in the style of old Spurs for our under 21s against Leicester. It turned out 7 4. 7 4, yeah, it was a really crazy game, actually. If you consider that last season in the same fixture, over the two games last season, there were only three goals scored in total. So 7 4, it was a cr you can understand just quite how crazy this match was. Yeah. It, was it happened. Yesterday, Monday the 21st of September, and it was awful. The conditions were horrible. We film this on Tuesday, just in case that's in any <laughs> doubt, because this could be released any day. Oh, there so you go. So it happened on yeah. Monday the 24th of September. 21st of September, 21st, yeah, the 21st sorry. of September. The reason I bring that up is that the weather was awful. It was right. torrential rain. I think it's still raining now anyway, but it was awful, awful weather, which probably added to the fact that there were a lot right. of goals scored. But there, there were some real positives to take from this game. It was uh, a return to form. Yeah. Uh, we'd lost uh, the last two games on the bounce, one nil away at Sunderland, 4-1. Uh, we played at, at Stevenage, actually, against uh, against the league leaders, Reading. Right. Um, and so it was good to get back to winning ways for the under-21s. Uh, obviously, a goal fest. There was loads of really nice attacking football being played. Uh, we, we were just cutting them open at times. Um, but th there, th again, there is a slight caveat to that in that there was some really poor defending. We, we are, at, at all levels, at youth team at the moment, I think we're really struggling to deal with set pieces and we're really struggling to deal with uh, high balls lofted into the box. Bizarre, because for the first team, we haven't conceded in uh, three or four games. That's uh, right. This before the Arsenal game. We don't know what's happened in that. Um, so interesting that we're uh, we're playing a bit more attacking uh, under Ugo Ehiog and the development teams. Yeah, indeed, uh, coaches, indeed. And, and they know that they've got work to do defensively, um, uh, certainly from, from set pieces. I mean, against Leicester, they've got these two huge strikers. I think they're both over six foot four. Right. Um, CCV, of course, is not the tallest player, although he's Dench. Uh, and uh, and Magoma is quite a big player himself, but we just we just weren't dealing with it, okay. and we we were leading by two goals twice during the match. We were two 0 up, and then we were um, a bit later on four two up, and, and Leicester brought it back twice to two two and then four two. Okay. But then uh, in the second half we absolutely smashed. And it. who notched any of our goals? Well, so uh, the the first goals were scored by um, uh, uh, someone. That's very good, uh, Kaziah Sterling. Yes, thank you, Kaziah Sterling. He stepped up for his competitive performance at the under-21 level from the under-18s. Uh, he played quite well, actually. He looked quite good, scored our first goal. CCV got the, the second good. goal. Two goals from Kenny McAvoy, Baby Bale. Oh, yeah. Uh, played very Loves well, actually. Wife. He Loves does his love wife. his wife. Go Check out his, his Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Instagram, yeah. Or his Loves Twitter. His yeah, she's, well, yeah, she's quite a nice young lady. I will, I will just put that out there. It's perverted to love your own wife. It, it is a, It is a bit, but uh, I, I love you, darling. Uh, and uh, and then there were... We're, uh, not, we're not married, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> no, sorry. Yes, I, was, I don't know why I said that. Two goals from Shane Harrison and Philip Lesniak uh, to finish it off. Well, good 7-4 win. That reminds me of uh, when we turned over Reading. 6-4 with Dimi Berbatov scoring mm. four. So it's good to see some goals at Spurs and um, the under 18s not doing so well this yeah, season. Yeah they're quite an inexperienced side so it's difficult there's been a lot of players particularly from our under 21s that have been stepping up to the first team or going out on loan your Pritchards your Oduers over uh, and, and your Bulls, yeah, um, your Gilvies, you know that they've all gone from the under 21s this season, and so you've had players like Marcus Edwards recently stepping up to the under 21s, scored a good free kick in our great afro, grey afro in our loss against um, Reading. Uh, Sterling obviously stepping up as well. Um, and so there's some notable absences. Magoma played for them last season. They are quite a young and inexperienced team, so they have been struggling a little bit. Um, they, they recently lost, uh, a three, well, they've lost uh, in their last three games, they lost, drawn, and lost. So they lost 4 1 to Reading. We seem to have a habit of losing 4 1 to Reading at the moment. Sounds like Reading have got a good youth setup. They do have a good youth setup, yeah. And, but they're, again, they're, they're big physical lads. They just lads. sold that player to Chelsea as well on deadline yep. day, didn't they? That's right, they did. Yeah. Uh, drew two all with Villa, and then we lost 3 0 to Fulham. Uh, a couple of games ago as well so we are struggling a bit um, and we do need to kind of do something quickly otherwise it's not about results away. at that age though is it it's not it's totally not, about it's, results it's, it's, it's about, about getting, development it's about development but if, and getting them playing in the Spurs way yeah exactly and and again you know we we do look good going forward we, we've got a lot of attacking flair a lot of good attacking midfield players we just need to find ways to defend uh, better particularly okay. against these big physical sides. Okay, so that's the end of part one of Youth Watch. Uh, let us know what you think about how our academy teams are doing in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for us on Twitter. And we'll be coming back with part two, where Craig is going to tell us about some of the youth players who have been called up to the international sides. See you in part two. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is part two of this week's Youth Watch with our expert on young men, Craig Vi. Uh, that sounded all wrong. 